everybody welcome back um yeah it's been a, a few days guys since i haven't done a, you know a post but today i just want to you know catch up on my um broccoli you know and show you guys how they're getting along you know the good and the bad of them guys so as you as you may remember it might have been a bad say i don't very small as you can see um we're getting a little bit of um, damage maybe by i'm thinking caterpillars but it could also be slugs guys but um at this stage now, once they get to a certain size, um, it shouldn't really bother them too much and they, you know, they will carry on and do their thing, guys. But as you can see, you know, they're, you know, they're all different shapes and size. The biggest one there for now is this one here in the middle here. It seems to be, you know, chumming along, guys, um, doing its things. And, you know, I believe, you know, we may be getting, you know, a broccoli in the middle of there soon because these guys do kind of harvest or, you know, give their fruit kind of quickly. You know what I mean? Um, it's not really much, you know, happening um, at the allotment at the moment, guys. Because to me, as the winter starts to set in, I, I kind of slow down a little on the gardening. Um, if you guys know any any good things that we can grow in the winter, maybe to keep me out here a little bit more, yeah, feel feel free to put it in the comment. And, you know, I may try and attempt to. But, you know, when it gets really, really cold, guys, I just don't see, you know, much or anything growing. And for me to start, you know, any new seeds or any kind of, you know, a new set of sowing right now, guys, you know, to me, it'll be pointless because we're going to be getting, you know, the frost very soon, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's only September now, but still, guys, the time, you know, it takes for things to grow, get to a size, put it out there, I guarantee you, it'll be time for the frost. So me personally, I think what I may be doing, guys, is more coming back to the allotment and preparing maybe for the, for the next season, you know what I'm saying to you? Um... Another thing, again, I was thinking is maybe the wood chips. Maybe next season I may not put um, as much wood chip as I've been putting down. Um, because to me, I believe that I may have um, too much wood chip in my beds at the moment. And I think that it may be affecting the nitrogen level in the beds. And especially this year, I didn't really you know, give, give any fertilizer apart from maybe a little bit of worm casting. So the soil is just been, you know, as it is, so to speak, you know. But apart from that, you know, things are, you know, I've still got some more things growing, growing here, guys. You know what I mean? I don't know. I can, you know, give you guys a quick show. But yeah, it is, it is basically the end. You know what I'm saying to you? I'm, I'm still waiting for my pumpkin to, to be ready. I mean, it looks ready, but guys, I believe, you know, when it's, when it's truly ripe, I, I, I will, I'll know. But for me, it looks ready, but I don't think it's ready because the other one, I did try to pick it a little bit early because it had, um, a little bit of a mold or it was kind of rotting on one side so i cut it off and um as um as orange as the skin did look the inside just did not replicate you know what a pumpkin should look like so i'm just gonna leave them till the end as you can see i've still got some cabbages left and like i said i'll come for these guys as i need them they didn't make the biggest heads guys but you know i'm pretty sure a serving at a time you know we can still have some nice cabbages this guy here He's doing really well. I might even actually take him out today because, as you can see, he's, he's absolutely solid. But um, I believe the slugs and the you snails do it now and you'll see are starting to eat at it. So before this they guy take here, too much, I will be... He's harvesting. quite big. And he's quite tougher than I, I was expecting. But yeah, I'll just twist him out, guys. Right? We'll just twist him out like that. And as you can see... There's a nice cabbage. We have to work with nature, as you can see, so we may get little bits of slugs and stuff like this. Layers here, guys. Once we initially peel all of this off, which I'll be putting in the compost. So, we just gone through it in the compost as we are here. A little bit more damage because this particular cabbage is very soft, you know. And I presume to this guy is soft and very sweet, you know. Mm. 
they've eaten the top part of it it's just best to just pull everything off i believe this was what you could say over ready you know i should have maybe picked it up you know harvest it a little bit more earlier than this guys but as you can see guys this is the this is basically our end result this is like a soft cabbage so this guy is what we're going to be boiling and stuff like that if he's going to make a soup you know what i'm saying to you that kind of a stuff you put it in there even if you just wanted to boil it with some water a little bit of salt in there perfect you know what i'm saying to you so yeah, i'm going to put him aside and i'll be cutting the, the bottom half off of it guys so let me go and put it out over there out of the way guys and um we still got a couple more there you know ready to come and here you see we still got the the tomatoes you know now these guys are you know over on the tree i have to come and collect some more you know basically do a harvest but um i won't be doing that today maybe i'll come back tomorrow guys and you know i'll be just clearing out the trees taking as much ripens as possible and um as you know like to me tomatoes is what kind of tells me when the season is over guys you know what i'm saying to you if we was going to have you know prolonged long weather i believe these guys would actually just stay green and keep growing you know what i'm saying to you but as you can see they're all dying off now not all of them was um determined i believe those guys over there I believe those guys over there would have kept on going, but you know, they've been hit by the blight, I believe. I don't know if this is blight. And if you come close, I don't know what this stuff is, guys. But yeah, for some reason, they didn't even grow too tough. And we've had a few cold, cold days, guys. And this is the kind of stuff that throws me off with the gardening. Because once I believe, you know, plants need warm weather, sunshine, and obviously water, rain. They don't need too much of it of any one of them they just need it to be quite balanced you know so if we've got a nice you know warm balanced time like like today today's fairly nice you know what i'm saying to you considering the time of the year but two weeks ago it was cold you see what i mean and then it gets warm then it gets cold and it gets warm if you look at over here i'll show you another example of what i mean <coughs> so if you see our courgette here she looks nice and lush and she's opening up yeah even though she's not you know giving up as much fruits as i would expect it but i put that down again to the cold weather we've been having so flick it over to the cucumbers look <coughs> yeah it looks like some sort of deficiency but initially i just believe it's just the cold nights we've been having and these guys trust me they don't like the cold yeah they're zero z you know cucumber is the kind of plants here where you know the warmer the warmer it stays the better they like it you know what i mean or from my experience that's what i'm seeing even like i said we've only had a few days of cold and this is look at the leaves guys you know yeah so yeah i mean so basically this video i'm just trying to explain to you guys you know we may slow down on the you know on the gardening videos a little but we will maybe do some more stuff maybe some cooking stuff and stuff like that um like i've been promising to do for a while but you know if i'm not going to be doing any gardening in the winter so maybe i should then do a bit of cooking use some of the stuff from the allotment you know try to in, in, incorporate it in some dishes that you know yeah that i may be doing guys so um on that note guys i just like to say you know let's live well and um together we grow <laughs>